Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, 89% of men breadcrumb and they don't even know about it. They're, they're clueless. They don't know. <laughs> um, really quickly, if uh, my content here resonates with you, uh, please check, uh, please click the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can be notified of new content. I shoot about three or four videos per week. Okay. 89%, what's it? 89%, what is it? 89% of men <laughs> um, breadcrumb and they don't even know that, that they're doing it. Okay. So what is breadcrumbing? Um, I know most of you know what breadcrumbing is, but for those who don't, breadcrumbing is the concept of where someone just gives you a little bit of crumbs throughout the relationship to basically satisfy you know, their bare minimum of needs without really fully engaging in the relationship. That's what breadcrumbing is. Okay, That's kind of the cliff note version of breadcrumbing. But there's a reason why this happens that I want to dig in deeper because it's actually a misconception from the male point of view. That's right. Breadcrumbing is a mis, is mis, uh, misdiagnosed by you women, by you women. I'm sorry, that sounded accusatory. I want to apologize. It's misdiagnosed by many women. Okay. And that's why we're going to lean, lean into this conversation. Many of you know I'm big on leaning in. Mostly I'm big on leaning into your sovereignty, leaning into your self-worth, your self-confidence, self-esteem. It's one of the reasons why I wrote my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? by Jonathan Asley. You can check out the links below. Um, actually, in my description, I have links to all kinds of stuff, recommended books and such. So here's what happens with breadcrumbing. In fact, I, I've, I've had this conversation so many times with so many women. Let's just say a man's capacity to give in relationship is here at a two, three, or four. His, by, by the way, his capacity to give in a relationship is a two, three, or four, and your capacity is a seven, eight, nine, or 10. Now, this is based on your perception. In other words, your perception of giving in a relationship is seven, eight, nine, or 10. Now, in a man's world, and to you, a man that's where there's a, there's a big disparity, it's because he's only giving two, three, or four, okay? But here's the thing about men. Men who are giving two, three, or four think they're giving 10. They think they're giving 10 to the relationship because men are rather clueless to the investment, what the investment takes to progress a relationship forward, to that progress that relationship to a deeper level of commitment. Because commitment for most men in midlife, and those who follow me know I'm specializing in midlife, don't know what commitment looks like because commitment to a 20 and 30 year old is mostly centered around making, you know, raising a family supporting and raising a family. That's where most 20 and 30 year olds view commitment. But commitment for a 40, 50 and 60 year old doesn't have the same blueprint as it did in our childhood or when we were younger. So most men are clueless. This is why ladies, you've got to educate the man on that difference, that spread. Now, the, where this spread comes from, and you, if you haven't read the book, Mating in Captivity by Esther Perel, you gotta read this book. Do yourself a favor, Google Esther Perel, watch her videos. She is so brilliant at explaining why there's such a disparity in relationships today for both men and women alike. And she talks about something called stable ambiguity, stable ambiguity, which is doing the bare minimum in relationship to keep the per relationship going. That's what breadcrumbing is, is doing the bare minimum. But I know you want something deeper. I know you want something more. You want something deeper. You want something more. You're, you're watching this video. You're watching my videos because you want to progress past this, this, this unconscious way of dating. Because the reason why it's 89% of men, because really only about 11, we'll do that again, about 11%, 10 or 11% of men, are actually very conscious and deliberate in the dating practice. There's another 40% that are on their way to getting conscious and another 50% that are completely unconscious and their head is in the sand, okay? Their head is in the sand, okay? This is why I'm a big proponent that you are in charge of your relationship destiny. Stop giving the job to a man. 
Men are terrible at it. Why are there so many books written on on emotionally unavailable men and um, so many books about, you know, is he too good to leave or is he too bad to stay kind of thing? Why are there so many books written about commitment phobic men? There's a reason for it. This is why you are the leaders of the rela your relationship destiny, not the guy. Stop giving the guy the job. I know you all love it, but Jonathan, I want a man who's chivalrous and takes the lead and he's confident he knows what he's doing. Yeah, you're searching for that rare 10% and half those guys are gone quickly and the other half are very selective and they're not choosing you because you're not at his level. I know that sounds like a judgment, but sometimes a lot of you ladies overreach on what you're capable of attracting in. So this is why I want you to do the work of self-love because it's not about giving your power to, away to another human being. It's about retaining your sovereignty. That's why I wrote my book. Now, if you're not familiar with the book, Eight Dates, you have to purchase this. I talk about this over and over and over again. Check out the link to Jonathan Recommends Books. This gives you the mechanics of a healthy, happy relationship. And if you're gonna allow that penis into the vagina, then you better start progressing the relationship if he's not progressing the relationship. Oh, by the way, I realized I didn't curse in my last couple videos, so I'll say fuck again. Or not again, but uh, <laughs> I've been so good lately. Um, but eight dates, you have, I mean, you don't have to do anything. I'm just inviting you to explore this. And by the way, one of you ladies said, Jonathan, stop giving me so many books. My library is overflowing. Yes, knowledge is something so valuable in this process of choosing a mate. And that's what I want to encourage you to do is fill your cup up, your love cup up of self-love and knowledge so you can make better choices. Because when you're crystal clear on what you want, you feel more confident and you can make better choices. Listen to that again. Clarity breeds confidence and confidence breeds better choices. And there's another book I want to share with you today. I love this book by Gary Zukov. He wrote The Seed of the Soul. But this book is called Spiritual Partnership, A Journey to an Authentic, uh, to your, uh, to Authentic Power. This is a great book for yourself, and this is a great book to prepare you for a wonderful relationship. So you don't have to experience breadcrumbing. So do you see the difference? You're here, a man's here. But when you understand how men operate and you understand how you operate, maybe you guys can come at this level. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big gigantic giant bear hug of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love. That's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone and give them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can use more love in our lives. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye now.